Welcome to the Voices of Women. We are on the Young Women's Track, and I have a treat for you today. We have the lovely Christine Yu, and I am really excited to tell you about her. Her talk title is Standing on the Shoulders of Great Women. Christine Yu is an eighth grader at Herbert Hoover Middle School in Maryland. Her favorite subject is history. Now that's a smart girl. Number one on her bucket list is to get a law degree from Yale University. That's a good one. She is currently obsessed with the vampire diaries. She plays basketball and in her spare time loves to read and sketch landscapes. Fascinating already. Christine is a member of the Speak and Shine Youth Club, where she enjoys developing her public speaking and leadership skills. Christine is sponsored by Dawn Chermack and the Speak and Shine Youth Club. Her talk topic today, she's going to share her love of history and discuss achievements of four amazing women from the past and present who have inspired her to dream, believe, and achieve her own history title standing on the shoulders of great women christine welcome welcome tell us a little about yourself thank you i'm my, my name is christine Yu, and i'm in eighth grade at herbert huber middle school in montgomery county Maryland. and my favorite subject which is history because I believe in the saying, if you don't, if you don't study history, you are bound to repeat it, which I believe means that if you don't learn from your, the past mistakes that you made, you might as well make it happen again and do the same mistake that history did. Who wants did. that? Who wants that? I don't want that. Do you want that? Nope. Are you there? Did you freeze a little? Uh, there you are. You're back. Okay, good. So who is your first inspiring woman? The first inspiring woman is Fanny Lou Hammer. One of the greatest achievements Fanny Lou Hammer achieved that I found that that I found inspires me is that she didn't let racism stop her from getting what she wanted. Besides voting Working to end voting segregation, she also worked to give voting rights to women as well. She also raised a bank, which is called a pig bank, to help the, the black farmers to have enough money to like, use them for houses and stuff. So let me make sure I understand this. She started a bank to help mm -hmm. black farmers be able to have enough money so that they could live and make their own farms? Yes. Wow, that's pretty cool. What else? Is there more? Tell me more. She was also born in Alabama during the time when the Jim Crow law, which is basically segregation, was still there. She also speaks. She uh, she also like use televisions to help spread her ideas around the world too. Oh, so she did she like do newscasts or advertisements mm -hmm. or programs? She just made herself really public. I think just I. Like, speaking I uh, just speaking on uh, online mm -hmm. and yeah that's all like that. that's cool and and with this we have plenty of time so we can dig into each gal because I mean, that's a really amazing thing she did what do you think um, the benefit is of not being segregated what I think the benefit mean? of being non segregated is that everyone has will be able to get what they want without fighting over stuff and that everyone can be like peaceful everyone are uh, just doing peaceful like, or being peaceful i like peaceful 
peaceful, good. I like it a lot. That would be wonderful. Um, so tell us about your next inspiring women. I know you've got like four. The next one is Abigail Adams. She is the she is the she is America's second first lady who uh, married to John Adams. She tried to, the reason why I believe she inspires me is that Abigail Adams persuaded tries to persuade um, her husband, who is John Adams, to give her rights to women. She was also virtuous to her woman, to her husband too, and supported his ideas, and also was a loyal housewife. So she, she did. She did everything. Mm -hmm. She 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 ran both the household and was a, a faithful wife, and she fought for women's rights. Was that easy back then? No. What because, What did they think? What did they think? What did she? What was she up against? I think she's up against uh, gender because during the time, uh, the early. 1800s, I guess. I mean, the late 1800s. Many women don't have the rights to have public speaking, voting, and uh, having like money and stuff. That doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. And so she inspired you. Yeah. That's terrific. What would you do if you could do something like Abigail Adams? What would be something that you might do? That would be a very hard question, I guess. But if I was Abigail Adam, I would, I would try to make peace. I and try to get enough um, supporters, maybe, and try to end a gender segregation. Maybe. Excellent. You have a nice comment in the chat here. It said, it's so important for us to remember the great women of the past so we know how to be great in the future. So, uh, and she asked another question that I want to know too. Have you ever been a peacemaker, Christine, even today in, in this? Uh, I have been a peacemaker at once, maybe. I have an old school. Yeah. What happened? Tell me more. So it was a, I was in a Catholic school and there was like a so we were going to church uh, to pray and stuff. I don't I kind of like donated some money and uh, helped other people like to help other people like um, to help rock and stuff and my old school. Wow. That's very I also, well, it, I'm also like the one that tries to stop like the fights and stuff. That is that's definitely a peacemaker. It's a very noble cause to make peace. Very what very wonderful. Who is your third inspiring young woman? Or woman? The, the third one that the third woman I would be talking about is Michelle Obama. Ah, tell me. So Michelle Obama is America's first black lady. She visited many homeless shelters and soup kitchens. She also sent representatives to schools and advocated public service and helped schools give healthier lunches to students. And what does that mean to you? What about that was awesome for you? What did you respect about that or admire about that? She not only helped the like America, just like the Americans and stuff, she also helped the ones that are poor and helped school lower diabetes I and mean, obesity rate, rates by giving them healthier 
lunches. That's awesome. She cared about everybody, not just the fancy parties. She wanted to get down and, and help the, the more people like us and, and everyone. To me, she was a beautiful, is a beautiful connector of wanting us all to be, like you say, peaceful and working together as one. Let's not have that old segregation stuff. Let's be one family. That's pretty good. Um, let's see. You have another one, don't you? You have another person? Yeah. So the first one that I will be talking about is Dr. Sunny. I changed uh, Dr. Chani Fridge, who is my mentor on speaking, public speaking. Oh. She inspires me because if I didn't have her helping me on speech system, I would just be like super shy, but she helped me overcome my fear of public speaking. That's fantastic. I, I like how you have a really nice range of, of people that you look up of inspiring women back from way back in the 1800s and coming through for through different uh, contributions that they've made in different areas. And uh, that's pretty awesome. And your speaking coach, what else, what else about speaking has changed for you? Not just that you speak better, but do you feel differently about yourself? Do you um, respond differently to your friends? Tell me a little bit about what that's done for you. What she, what Dr. Sunny done for me is that she helped me become more confident and I overcome like stage fright when I'm just speaking. Also, she helped me practice my vocal variety too. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Did you have trouble with that before you started taking her classes? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. would you say it's a little change or a big change? Big change. Yay. Well, all right. All right, Christine, we have to have happy dance for you. Happy dance for you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excellent. Um, let's see. Oh, here's some fun comments. Um, it says, Michelle Obama is very classy. Do you admire her style? Who doesn't, right? Yeah. Um, how about um, you today? Are you ready for this? Are you sitting down? You are on an international stage today. Your confidence has come a long way. You can say, hey, I spoke on an international stage. I've, I haven't counted all the countries that are here today, but they're all around the world. There's women from all around the world here today. That's why it's hard to pick a time zone, but it's uh, good. And, and you should feel comfortable with that. You should feel confident with that. You, feel free to own it because you're here. You're here with us. You deserve to be here with us. You belong here. Peacemakers are very, very important. And one of the things I noticed that you do that I really respect is that you walk your talk. You appear to be very much a peaceful being, a very much a peacemaker. You show us what it looks like to be peaceful. That is really a, a big contribution. Thank yes? you. <laughs> yeah, big deal. Let's see. Oh, here we have, we have some more. Uh, what will your legacy or tips for the next generation be about being a youth on the rise today or on the move? What would you give younger ones coming up? What would you tell them? I think I would tell them to be confident in yourself and that no one is perfect because everyone is unique. That is so wise. That's really, that's very, very wise. Um, so, this is, uh... okay, I want to ask you something a little off the wall. What's something you like to do that's not school? I would say just watching, uh, actually like reading books maybe, and sometimes mm -hmm. go on social media to see anything new. Do you like comedy? Do you like news? Do you like fiction? Do you, what, what kind of thing do you like? I kind of like fiction, but mostly like historical fiction. And 
sometimes I just go on social media to see like trending, what's trending and like the news. Interesting. Did you like the mu the musical Hamilton? Yes. I would have thought I would have been more surprised if you hadn't, because that seems like it combines a lot of your favorite things: the historical stuff, people making change, combining it in a seg in in a what's the opposite of segregation? Putting them all together, cast. You know, we're all together more in unis unity in that way, working for higher good, working for those things that you mentioned in your in your. Uh, uh, you're for women, and also it's fun to dance to. Yes, no, well, you don't dance to Hamilton. Uh, a little bit, not a little bit, a little bit, uh, kind of, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right, you don't have to dance if you don't want to. Um, so let's see, have you ever taken on any leadership roles? And tell us, no, about it. no, mm -hmm. I'm all. I'm more of a follower than a leader. But sometimes if it's like drawing and stuff, maybe, yes. Yeah. Well, you're actually doing a very big leadership thing right now to stand up and inspire other people and to let your values be shared with other people. That actually is a, is a good leadership role. It doesn't mean you have to tell everybody what to do. It just means that you're willing to share what the peaceful thing is to share. What are good things to make our world a better place to be? Um, let's see. Somebody else likes historical fiction too. And let's see. Does your anybody in your family are they all brave or do they work on their confidence too? Or I don't really know. No. Really... Well, that's okay too. If you had had, um, let's see. What would be good? What are three things that you think are really important coming up in school to be able to do a good job and be peaceful and to be produ productive? What would you tell your fellow students? Uh, maybe just I work hard. Mm -hmm. Work hard, too, I guess. And, never, and don't, I mean, never, I mean, uh, Try to pursue your dream because if you pre try to pursue your dream, there's more of a chance to have your the dream that you want. That's true. <laughs> and did you have another one? No. Okay. No, that's very very good. That's very very good. So when you uh, were asked to do this. What did that feel like to you? What were you hoping to accomplish today? Maybe a cha change, maybe. A change to the yeah. uh, rights to women. Giving rights to women, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just help, uh, like, The speaking up is a really, really important thing. Do you feel like you are demonstrating that today? Yeah. I think you are too. I think you're doing a really, really lovely job of that. Um, does anyone have any questions for Christine in the chat? And if not, that's okay. Be sure to save the chat. There's been some lovely things said about you in the chat. Uh, we are getting ready to speak with Claire next, but Christine, do you have any final words for your audience that you would like to leave them with? I'll say uh, thank you for this opportunity because many people have, I, many people, other people can, and many people don't have the opportunity to do this, so. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you, Christine. Thank you so much. Keep going out there and uh, sharing your inspirational women with us. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye.